What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know you're probably tired of me filming videos on recoil springs and guide rods, but uh, DPM Systems was kind enough to send me both the fully adjustable and the captured guide rods for me to test out. I'd seen ads in magazines, I'd seen videos on other people's channels. None of them were really in depth enough to satisfy my curiosity on whether or not the system worked, so I had to try it for myself. So stay tuned and I'll share what I found with you. So the system is sold by DPM Systems, which is based out of Athens, Greece. And if you shoot pretty much anything, they probably have you covered based on their website. They also have a US distributor who has a more limited line of their product offerings, but the headquarters is in Greece. So if you order one, it'll be about a week or more time from the time you order it to when it shows up to your door, just based on international shipping. Now, as far as what the system is, it's a three spring guide rod system, similar to like a captured guide rod on like a Gen 4 Glock or something, which has two springs. This actually has three springs. I've got a really great video that shows kind of a mock-up on how the system operates on their website that I'm showing to you now. And the theory behind it is it provides variable resistance. So when the slide is in battery, it just takes a little bit of force to get it to unlock until it moves all the way to the rear where it's maximum force. It strips the cartridge into the chamber. It starts accelerating and the, the force begins to taper off as the slide goes back into battery. Uh, easing the slide back into battery makes it so the muzzle doesn't dip quite as much. Although I will say the spring that they use that is even the lightest spring that they include with the kit I have in the gun right now and it requires more force to get it to unlock than the OEM recoil spring does, at least in the Gen 5s. So they have two different configurations for their system. The first is a captured system, and it's basically a two-piece system that requires you to pick one of three adapters that they provide to put into the slide, and then just you seat the captured guide rod just like you would an OEM spring at that point. Now, the capture system is super easy to install, and I actually ended up preferring the fully customizable system, which is the traditional system where you pick one of three springs they include in the package to thread onto the guide rod. You pick one of three adapters to put into the slide. Now I picked the shortest spring and the shortest buffer, which is what they recommend for target load. Now they give you some kind of like washer and this little hex key that you're supposed to use to kind of thread the spring onto the guide rod and hold it in place while you get it into the gun. And I just basically he man the spring into the adapter and called it good. It wasn't as difficult as some of the other systems I've tested at this point, but if you need it, they give you this option to seat the spring as well. Both of the units feature a black oxide stainless steel, which is apparently like a limited edition. So the, at the muzzle of the gun, everything appears black like it would if it were a factory pistol, which is a nice small detail that I prefer rather than having a stainless rod poking through. So what better way to test this than the bill drill at 10 yards, except for I'm not testing a draw, so I cut the draw out. I just held the gun on target and pulled the trigger six times as fast as I could. The cadence I was firing was about a 0.2 or five shots per second splits. This is all gonna be in slow motion. For those of you who don't follow the channel, I'm rated a master class shooter in USPSA. I say it like that because I'm a low level master. If you call me A class, it wouldn't break my heart. But all of that to say that I have pretty good technique. So the differences aren't going to be super exaggerated from what you see here, but you can check out the OEM spring and the captured system recoiling together. For each spring, I shot three strings of fire shooting this bill drill and I compared the groups each time. Now it's worth remembering that a gun in recoil is a system. It's a combination of the springs in the gun as well as the ammo in the gun. Up to this point, I've been used to the timing and the feel of the OEM recoil spring and my own loads that I make up. So as far as the order is concerned, I shot the OEM spring, then the captured DPM spring, and then the fully adjustable DPM system. And if you actually watch the video, it doesn't look very different. The captured system appears to settle out just a little bit faster, although the feel was very, very different between the two. I have to say I actually did prefer the feel of the DPM system. But what really tells the tale is when you actually compare the targets. You'll notice a good bit of vertical stringing in my grouping with the OEM system, and then that stringing seems to shrink a little bit with the DPM system on the captured thing. So. So far so good, uh, and then we'll jump into the fully customizable system you can see here. 
And again, the difference is not very severe. You don't really see it. I didn't get more of my body to see the recoil coming up my body in the shot. But again, the feel is very different from the OEM to the DPM system. But what really tells the tale is when you look at the target, the fully custom system had a much smaller shot grouping than the OEM system. So I left the OEM system in the gun, finished my practice for the day, came back a week later and did the same thing again, this time in reverse order, starting with the fully custom and finishing with the OEM. So I shot my first groups and they looked like this, which is to say trash. And then I shot the captured system, which looked like this, and then the OEM system. So as you can see, the DPM system still held a tighter group on a day where I was just a garbage shooter and couldn't land any shots to save my life. Now it's worth noting that I did fire the most accurate five shot group I've ever fired at 25 yards with the fully custom DPM thing in here. I have no idea if this is supposed to affect mechanical accuracy of the pistol. It doesn't seem like it would. I'm probably just bragging at this point anyway, but check that group out. Now, a couple more points to kind of discuss before we really dive into opinions and how I feel about them is that the system does feel like it holds the gun in battery a lot tighter, as I mentioned before. So if you have like a Gen 5 Glock with no forward serrations, it's going to make cocking the action significantly more challenging, but it's not something you can't train through if you just give it a bit of dry fire practice. The other side of that is the lifespan. What can you re realistically expect out of these units? I asked the manufacturer and they mentioned to me that they have over 80,000 rounds on their test gun. And if you have the customizable system, they're happy to replace the outer spring, which is the only spring you can replace on your own if you should ever run into issues. So that's a pretty good deal. I put about a thousand rounds through the gun using the fully custom spring. I didn't have any issues related to feeding or anything like that. The system just worked like it's supposed to. I didn't clean the gun or anything like that, just kept it lubricated and it still worked just fine. So here's the part in the video that's gonna drive some people crazy because I know that I fall in this category is how did the gun feel? If you watch a lot of videos talking about this system, it's very like, oh yeah, it feels a lot better in my hands. It's, it's definitely feeling like it reduces felt recoil and they don't show you what they're shooting at. They don't show times on the shots or anything like that. I can share with you that my times weren't any faster. Uh, I'm kind of constrained on how fast I can pull the trigger and it's about a 0.18 on a Glock. So that's probably as fast as I can do and the spring didn't make me pull the trigger any faster. But as far as how the gun actually felt, it did feel like it reduces recoil on the hand and it feels a lot better. I actually do much prefer the feel of the DPM system in my gun, so much so that when the other Glocks that I have on order show up through the GSSF. I'm probably gonna put those in the ones I use for competition because I, I feel like the DPM does do what it says it's supposed to do and I prefer the way that it recoils in the gun. But the way I felt about the DPM system was echoed by my buddy back in Georgia who was the one who put this system on my radar. He basically commented that he picked it up on a lark because he was burnt out with USPSA hoping that the gear would light his fire to keep him interested and engaged in the game. He got it for a Glock 19. He felt like it totally tamed the harshness and somewhat of the snappiness of the shorter barreled gun. So he immediately ordered it for his full size 17 that he competes with in USPSA. And he's ordered another one again for his 22 Franken Glock, which I filmed a video on that almost nobody's watched, but it's a really cool sight tracker Glock in 40 caliber that he has uh, competes with in limited. So check that out. Now, one thing that Dave did give me was a very good analogy for how the gun actually feels when you're using the DPM system. Dave had issues with using too much hand speed and hitting low on his presentations on the draw. A local trainer back in Georgia suggested to him is in the last bit of extension, just ease the gun into the final position when you're going to fire. So he did that and while it felt slower to him, the shots started showing up in the A zone and the times weren't much different. And that's really kind of what it's like with the variable spring rate. Now the downside to this is that the cost on these systems is somewhat steep. For the fully custom system with current exchange rates, it's going for 110 euros, which is about 126 US dollars. And the captured system is about 10 euros more. And that's a lot of money to spend and that's not gonna be appealing to a lot of people. If you're a guy using the gun for competition for USPSA, 
you're really who their target market is because you're trying to maximize the advantages available to you in your firearm. And I would say that this is an advantage, but as to whether it's a good value for you, you're gonna have to make the call. As I mentioned, I'll be picking up another one of the fully adjustable systems for my new 34 that's gonna show up here shortly. So that's what I got for you guys. Uh, the DPM system does what it advertises to do largely, and it makes the gun feel better when you're shooting it. But it comes at a heavy price, so you're gonna have to make the call whether that's for you or not. Uh, I appreciate DPM for sending these in. I appreciate you guys for watching them. I appreciate you, and I'll check you on the next one. Thanks, guys.